I don't know about you guys, but as a minimalist, I'm very much enjoying the new uh, channel template that YouTube is rolling out. In fact, I left YouTube for a, a week or two, just sort of took a break, and I came back, and so many of my favorite channels now have this in their old channel pages. And pretty soon, I guarantee you, by the end of uh, election season at least, uh, there will be hundreds and hundreds and thousands probably more of channels that look exactly like this. Uh, the standards of what YouTube bans is always increasing, like things that you, anyone would have posted all the time five years ago, you just get banned for outright nowadays. Uh, I know that I have started privating old videos because, I mean, everyone is doing this now because, you know, you can't, you don't know what they're going to ban you for next. Okay, so, um, anyway, luckily for all of us, we don't really have to worry that much about getting banned from YouTube. Now, of course, you, that would be a bad thing. You get a lot of traffic from YouTube. Um, but one of the things I was talking about a couple weeks ago is having your own website. Uh, you know, uh, having your own, or using RSS feeds to follow people instead of social media sites. Um, so if your favorite YouTube channel gets banned, well, you don't really need to worry that much. You just get rid of your YouTube RSS feed and replace their, you know, BitChute RSS feed or some other kind of site. And now you have your their videos just as easily as you did before. Um, there are probably less normies watching them, but, you know, that that's that comes with the, the I don't know. You got to deal with that. You still got it. Um, so anyway, one of the things I want to talk about in this video very briefly is PeerTube. So uh, if you've been following me on my website recently, um, I made a PeerTube instance. Now my website is lukesmith.xyz. You can go to videos.lukesmith.xyz and you will see a little screen that looks something like this. Um, you'll see some of the videos that I've done recently. Uh, basically what PeerTube is, it's, is it's your own hosted instance of a YouTube site. You know, uh, you can upload videos to it. You can, let's click on one of these. Uh, so you can upload videos, people can watch, people can uh, register register for it. Um, and the nice thing about it is, uh, now of course, normally, uh, and I, I will talk about this later, um, you might uh, be thinking, oh, well, if I'm hosting my own videos and stuff, that's probably very intensive on bandwidth, and it can be, of course. Um, but the nice thing about it is it's actually torrent-based. You'll see that I have five peers that is, while I'm watching this video, I'm actually downloading it from five different people. Uh, five different people are seeding it. Um, because, you know, basically other people who are watching or other people who choose to, uh, I guess, be, you know, make redundant copies of my videos, they can help me uh, people watch them. And also you can go here, you can say download, I want to download this video. You can actually just download it either directly or preferably as a torrent. Uh, and that allows you to not just download it, but also support it, seed it once you've finished downloading it. Um, so anyway, so PeerTube is a very nice little system here. Uh, it, it gives you basically everything YouTube uh, gives you. I mean, it even gives you stuff that we've talked about, like, uh, you know, RSS feeds automatically. Now, I think uh, I forget how you do it. So in the same way, you can subscribe to a channel. Let's actually uh, let me go here. I think this is my channel. Um, so you can go to the subscribe button and it actually asks you, gives you an option. Let me move my face here. It gives you an option if you want to subscribe via RSS. Okay. So you can actually just get an RSS feed for a channel and stuff like that. Uh, so it's very convenient. It's, it's sort of a, uh, it's again, you're just hosting your own videos. Now you might say, okay, well that's nice, Luke. You have your own video site for your own videos. Uh, but who's going to come just to your site? Well, first off, many people might do that. But uh, to be clear, how the real the real important part of PeerTube is that it's federated. And what that means is, you know, if I go to just my, my main page, I'm not really using this feature yet, but uh, if I go just to my main page, it just has these videos that are on my site. Um, but you can actually follow people or pe people's instances can follow you or you can follow them and that will display all of their videos on your site or vice versa. So actually I have pulled up here. Here, are, here is a list of my followers, okay? Like some of the instances that follow you. Now this is not the same. You can create an individual account um, on a PeerTube instance. That's one thing. Uh, but if you follow something, that basically means you have your own PeerTube instance and you're you know, looking at the videos there. Oh, let's see. Some of these might be going pretty slow just because my internet is slow. Um, but how it works is effectively you can go to one of these sites and they're going to have their own videos and whatever videos of the instances they follow. So if they follow me, you might see some of my videos in here. So here's this instance. I don't see any of my videos right off the bat. Uh, but um, 
you know, all the different uh, all the different instances they follow up here here. Okay, so it's very nice. Uh, it's very convenient. It has pretty much everything that YouTube has, um, except for it's just more freer. It's all, of course, free software. You can install this on your own server. Uh, you can uh, join it by join to join PeerTube. You just join any of the instances, and your account is tied to one of those instances. I actually allow. I do not all instances allow you to join. I think mine. I have the user cap at like five thousand or something like that. So you could join if you want. Um, so anyway, so what are what are the annoying parts of this? Well, the annoying parts of this have, are obviously uh, I'm hosting my own videos, which uh, can be a lot of bandwidth and can be a big pain. Obviously, I only have, I have less than 10 videos right now, and they don't have that many views because I haven't really told people. I think I, I did a little blog post yesterday talking about that I had a PeerTube instance. Um, but uh, the, uh, what was I going to say? So... Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you. So I have this little vulture server. This is the thing that it's running on now. And you can actually see this is the, I, I want to say, yeah, I have a bandwidth cap of one terabyte, a thousand gigabytes. Um, and you can see, well, this is my bandwidth usage. And this is like not telling anyone that it's out here. Now, once I put up this video, there are probably going to be a lot of you guys who click on this and they're going to see this massive orange spike. Uh, so the issue is I don't know if I actually have the bandwidth to do this or the or the storage space either. I I'm, I can actually upgrade my bandwidth and storage space, you know, with a different plan. But of course, it costs money. The thing of the obviously I want to do PeerTube, but uh, especially if I end up getting my own server, I'll either have to use a more expensive VPS. I might be paying like eighty bucks a month just for that, uh, or if I get my own dedicated. Um, you know, uh, metal server, you know, get, get my own actual server for it. Uh, that'll cost a couple hundred bucks a month. I can't, I cannot do it absolutely where I live because I don't have the internet for it. Um, so I don't know if anyone has either, uh, a VPS host that's extremely cheap and does like unlimited bandwidth, that would be nice. You can tell me about that. Vulture works for like 99% of use cases. And in fact, it works better than most um, but I don't know if I want to pay like, uh, what, like a hundred something bucks a month. Uh, either way, of course, if you want to support, if you want to support the, uh, PeerTube instance, you can go ahead and go to lukesmith.xyz slash donate, uh, because I always, I, I should probably ask people for donations more often, but as you may know, you can donate to me, uh, here. You can set up recurring donations, whatever. I brought back Libera Pay which apparently still exists or whatever, Liberia, Liberia pay, whatever it's pronounced. Um, so anyway, I recommend if you want to support my efforts, uh, go download or go donate or something. Um, but if you know any other kind of way of me hosting these videos, feel free to let me know. Um, I'm just trying to figure everything out, trying to do it efficiently. Um, but uh, until then, go ahead and go to Peer2. If you want to watch any of these videos, just go there and watch them. I just want to see how much you know, bandwidth usage I might end up having to need or something like that. Um, but I am going to be doing PeerTube exclusive videos from now. I've decided because I, I don't, there are a bunch of things that I can't say on YouTube, can't do on YouTube anymore, but I can easily do on PeerTube and it would be very nice. I'm thinking about doing some videos, uh, well, that would probably go against YouTube's terms of service because they're so stupid nowadays. Um, uh, but I'll probably do that there. And I, I want to start easing out of YouTube. I'd rather, I would rather, even if I have to pay out of pocket for a server, it, I'd rather live on donations than living on YouTube ad revenue. And I sort of feel the same way about Patreon, frankly. I mean, I still have a Patreon, but uh, I'd rather use Li Libera Pay or something like that, or, um, you know, just the normal recurring donation. Uh, so anyway, that, that's just what I'm thinking. That's what's on, been on my mind the past couple days. Uh, uh, so anyway, that's about it. I, I guess that's an explanation. I'll, I'll talk about PeerTube a little more, but it's very nice, very well integrated with RSS, uh, just a sweet service. Uh, so anyway, see you guys next time.